It's happening! Oh, shoot. It's happening! We're ready. Let me know if it's too loud. Please welcome your oh. host. Oh, the wow. They just get on in it. Awards, Jeff Keeley. Oh, that's worth it to me. Wow, that must be a really nice to see this. Woo, it's starting! Hello, Jeff! Here we go! <laughs> the music is pretty. Hardcore. All right. This is exciting. Guten Abend, Gamescom! Good. What is it? Guten Abend. And hello Abend. to everyone watching around the world. This is opening night live from beautiful Cologne, Germany. And we have our biggest live audience of fans ever here at Cologne Messe. Over 5,000 5, people together Sorry, it looked blurry. as a community to celebrate our love of games. And of course, millions of you watching online around the world. Welcome. We I do. I also stream on Twitch. The grand kickoff to Gamescom, the world's biggest in-person video game event, and this is our sixth opening night live. Now tonight, for the first time, we have a live sign language stream of ONL to make the show even more accessible. Nice. Thank you to Kaborski, who's signing the show right now. Thank you, Kaborski. Aww. Now, while the game industry certainly has faced challenges this year. I know that ONL will get you excited about what's to come later this year and in 2025 and beyond. What is now, over ONL? Over the next two hours, you're going to see world premieres from studios big and small, including, yes, some new game announcements you're not expecting and some surprises. So get ready. Oh. From Monster Hunter to Indiana Jones, Dune to Civilization, Call of Duty to Marvel Rivals, the most anticipated games will be on stage tonight because they wanted oh, to be here with you guys live. at Gamescom. Got it. And I am so honored and grateful to have the opportunity <laughs> to present these games to you. Clap when I clap, chat, so we feel like we're in the same room. So Gamescom, Sensi Variety for the world premiere. Whoa! I tried it. All right, here's our first world premiere, a brand new game announcement. This one hasn't leaked, and it's exclusive right here Whoa. at ONL. Exclusive, it hasn't leaked, Pog. Whoa, what is it? Ooh, two, ooh, 2K? I ain't gonna, I ain't about to guess what these are gonna be. Gearbox? Space Horror? Oh, there's no audio? Really? Are you sure? Somebody check my TikTok and see if there's audio. Uh, Gearbox in 2K. I'm assuming it's Borderlands. Borderlands, would this be five? Oh, really? Let me see if I can fix it. Oh, oh heck. Hmm, that's true. You can't. Oh, you have sound? Do you have? Do you hear the thing? Oh yeah. <laughs> New Borderlands. Oh four. Wait four. Wait, maybe I got ahead of myself and I thought Borderlands four was already out. <laughs> My bad. I was like, wait a second. Oh, well, there new you Borderlands. Go. All right, that's right. Borderlands Clap 4 trap. is coming in 2025. Borderlands 4. Next up, October 25th. No audio the from the trailer. Oh, Black so Ops 6. To debut an extended look at the campaign gameplay, please welcome John Zuck and Katherine Anderson from Raven Software. I might not be able to have time to fix it. Let me try, though. Black Ops returns with an epic story and signature blockbuster action where players question everything and trust no one. It features an all-new campaign with 16 new multiplayer maps with the return of classic prestige in theater mode and two brand new zombies experiences on day one. You'll see live MP Call of Duty is the same Warzone every year play at the Call of Duty next event on August 28th. And starting on August okay 30th, that, you? you'll be okay. able to join the MP open beta to try out the brand new Omni Movement system for yourself. 
But today, we're here representing the Raven team, who's leading the campaign in partnership with Treyarch. The Black Ops 6 campaign is set in the early 90s, a time of global turmoil and uncertainty as the Cold War comes to an end. You're joined by legendary characters Frank Woods, the grizzled vet, and Russell Adler, the ultimate oh. wild card. Together with new allies Troy Marshall and Jane Harrow, and unbound by normal Shoot, rules I don't of engagement, <laughs> you'll unravel a mind-bending conspiracy. In the mission we're about to show you, our rogue team has targeted a senator attending a political fundraiser in order to gain access. Uh, sorry, I'm not to paying attention because I don't play Call of Duty, Washington and I'm trying to get this fixed. So one second. This is what's <laughs> wanted. Um, it says it's added. Here we go. Maybe I can so try to show up to else. this fundraiser, get what we need from the senator, then grab Adler from the black site before anyone knows what's happening. Camera actually works. Sometimes I surprise even myself. Sour? I just hope Sav and Case can get the retinal scan. I did it! Senator's on stage now. Use your camera to get a better look. I got it fixed. The senator isn't Sorry, I'm still new tonight, to TikTok. And he doesn't go Yay! Without his security Thank detail. you! I've marked a few leads that could help get you close enough to do the retinal scan. Take you don't pick. play this game either? I, I mean, it looks really nice. It's not my, it's not my type of game, though. Alright, back to focusing. Gold star! Yeah! It's not too loud, is it, Starcross? Can't beat the class. I've cleaned up another of your messes. Lee Grisham, head of security. So this looks really reali Grisham realistic. The graphics look great. Oh goodness! That's one way to fry. Be a fry cook. You can hear me just fine too. <laughs> I can't believe I did it. <laughs> Modify the infrared image to highlight the capillaries in the senator's retina. It should have just enough resolution. <laughs> Interesting way to scan. You can see me playing this game after dark. Can you really? <laughs> no way. me during shift change. Newer schedule somehow. Also, sorry, Borderlands 4 looked really nice. I mean, we didn't see too much, but that's cool. I'm a, I've am played several Border, Borderlands it games before. How exciting. Borderlands 4. Why did I think Borderlands 4 was already out? Maybe I'm getting it confused with the tiny Tina thing. I didn't play that. Easy, Adam. <laughs> We're here to help. Yeah, maybe it's because of the Tiny Tina game. Guess That's probably what it message. was. The old man says surprise! It, it didn't leak. Be right. That's awesome. Sev, Little surprise, Reno. I, I want to see what people are uh, saying uh, online. Up here. That's not. Great. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> you good to go? That is true, I'm Ian. <laughs> yeah, look, there it is. Borderlands Four coming 2025. When I saw Gearbox, of course I naturally was like, oh, Borderlands. Stay low into that gun. Stop Jump that around! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Could you hear it? <laughs> How exciting. I need it. I want to see more of um, uh, Borderlands 4, but we only just got the little headpiece. You know, I used to have that map. Because I went to one of like the conventions and they gave those masks out. I wonder if I kept them. I forgot what those guys were called though. These Pantheon guys literally sent the big guns after you, Adler. Gearbox has a few IPs, but Borderlands is their biggest property. Mm-hmm. Up through the service hatch. Did you know, um, I'm assuming Gearbox is still based in Texas, isn't it? Or did they move? Come on, Case. Here, boss. Oh yeah, they they're still in Texas. Easier coming down. Here. Oh, 
Oh, did they move to Austin? They used to be in Dallas. Did they move to Austin? Box software location. Still in Texas, still rejecting me. That's not nice. Man, you heavier than you look. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, there's a bunch of them? Oh, okay. Same as plan A. Well, the one that I'm thinking about is the scenic route. Let's get moving. Um, in Dallas. I've been I've been to their I've been to their studios before. I got like a a nice little tour. That was fun. <laughs> This is a pretty long intro. To be fair though, they also did this for, what was it, for X, the Xbox event? They showed a lot of um, this game. Unfortunately, the movie flopped hard. I won't even go see it. The Borderlands movie didn't do good? That's already out? I didn't realize that was already out. If we can't outgun them, we outrun them. Just like that, huh? Just like that. Oh, well, it's kind of cool you moved like the balloons. <laughs> no. But I don't see any better options, and I'm running out of Oh, really? That's unfortunate. Who is in the cast of the Borderland movie? Borderland movie. We're gonna lose 70 to 80 million. Oh, it flopped. It's already scheduled for online release. Dang. That's unfortunate. Hopefully, Borderlands 4 won't be like that, huh? Right? <laughs> Sometimes it must be really hard, like, taking, like, a game theme to a movie screen, you know? All right, thank you, Black Ops. Looks good. Not my type of game, but looks looks good. They showed a lot. So, there you go, Call of Duty fans. Wow, really? There you go, Black Ops 6. More coming at Call of Duty next. And now I'm honored to introduce my co-host for Opening Night Live. You know her from her years of hosting League of Legends esports around the world. Did you know that she got her start as a competitive Unreal Tournament player? That's right, please join me in welcoming to ONL, Shocks! Shocks! Is that how you say it? Shocks? I always said socks. <laughs> and hello, Gamescom. Thank you for the warm welcome, Unreal Tournament. That is uh, quite the throwback, but I am so excited <laughs> to be here tonight revealing Shucks. many of the games on opening night live and highlighting events happening during this Gamescom week in Cologne. Gamescom really is the best week for games worldwide every year, and I am so stoked to be back here with you all celebrating it. Yay, now, Gamescom! Now it is my pleasure to share a message from Gamescom to you, our gaming community. Dear future me, I hope you are happy. I hope you visit wonderful places that you have friends from I've never far been away. to Gamescom, but it looks fun. And that you always have the best adventures. That you it's a little too far for me. <laughs> and that you love the things you do. Dear future me, my favorite thing in the world is to play. Do you like to play too? Watching Gamescom 10 years from now announcing Black Ops 16. <laughs> yes, the future is here and we are ready to play. Let's take a look at this fun trailer. What is this fun trailer? Cash grab penitentiary. Oh, whoa, interesting. They're like little blocky characters. Wait. The cops are like blocky characters. <laughs> what? What is, what is this? Hey, you. You're finally awake. You 
This is Skyrim. What is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it does give Goat Simulator vibes. Was that for Grand Theft Auto? Oh. What was that? That looked familiar. Was that ga Oh god. I have so many questions. <laughs> that wasn't Gary's mod, was it? Yeah, what is this? Prison simulator? Love? What does that say? Mac? You think this is a Gary's mod thing? Development? Hell, what? Oh, it said love and hate. Okay, that made sense. Wait. Oh my god, is it really Goat Simulator? Oh my god, Cat, you called it! How did you know? Okay, this makes more sense now. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> oh, it's a goat yeah, simulator remastered. Um, in my oh my god, opinion, I remember playing uh, that, that game. That looked like the goat of all remasters. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, um, oh no. <laughs> we are expecting hundreds of thousands of fans at Gamescom this year. I played person, goat but simulator. If you cannot be here with us. Don't worry, you can join us virtually by going to Gamescom Global, where, Global rather, where you can explore and discover what the world's gaming industry has in store for you. <laughs> and our very own Gamescom Studio is here with all day coverage of yeah, the Yeah, it's not something so you might Gamescom ask Studios for, but it's a thing. On Twitch or on YouTube. Interesting. Now, we have some news on Persona 3 Reload and its next DLC Episode Igis, the end. Igis. Coming on September 10th. It's time to reveal a surprising coming boss fight soon. coming to the game. Boss fight. Okay, so they're showing a boss all fight. The days after it will be March 31st. It's like Tartarus all over again. There is a strong connection between all of you and what's happening. Let's just open it. Then we'll know. Something's wrong. Them. You'll never see it coming. Why is it after us? Persona! Here it comes. Gotta admit, the music in Persona is always really good. Especially this song. I love this song. Gonna come in. Oh, Old Joker so short fun though. Alright. Next up, we have another new game <laughs> announcement for you right here. Exclusive. Yeah, I guess he's the boss. Opening Joker. Night Live. Kinda awesome. Okay, let's see. We gotta focus every time. The tracks lead this way. Sorry, did he say what this was? I couldn't tell from the absurd title. Well, a Joker would be the boss. <laughs> it's okay. It's close. Stay here. Stand guard. Episode, I guess, is post story DLC. The original had Joker fights completely new, though. Okay. Bloody hell. This looks really scary. <laughs> oh, oh. Ah! Creepy vibe. Mm -hmm. Hi, Rick. 
got tired of the ads. What about Persona news? They showed that they showed a new boss fight for Persona 3. Um, and it's gonna be Joker. Dying Light the Beast. I knew it looked like Dying Light. <laughs> I was like, wait, it looks like something I've played before. There you go. It is Dying Kyle Light. Crane is back in a new zombie adventure set in the Dying Light world with 20 hours of gameplay, a the new beast. open world region, and more wow. in Dying Light the Beast. Next, today marks hey, the Storm. launch for the most wishlisted game right now on Steam, and also, last I checked, the biggest single player game ever on Steam with over 2 million concurrent players today, Black Myth Wukong from Game Science in China, which is also out on the PlayStation 5. That's a 5. lot of people. And right now, we've got the reveal of the launch trailer for you. Oh, was there a chat filter? It's okay. <laughs> the Dying Light game, I played the first Dying Light game. Definitely not what I normally played. But I played a lot of random stuff back then. So this game is out and people have really been enjoying it. Ooh. Oh, so it is kind of like... Okay, it is like a Souls-like. Whoa, what is this music? Need to see if I want to play that. Which game did you refer to, Effin? This looks cool. Oh, this one? They haven't shown any Monster Hunter yet. Probably gonna be after this, I'm guessing. It's certainly pretty. <laughs> this is like the Dark Souls of China. <laughs> oh, a Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball! Unleash the power. What an ironic transition. <laughs> what was the last one called? A uh, Black Myth Wukong. It's currently out right now. October 11. I guess all the dates are gonna look like that since we're at Gamescom. Welcome back to Gamescom opening night. Oh, look, it's Jack Keely, but. Morgok? Who's ready to Cartoon ride? version. From the Comstruct Coliseum, it's time for everyone's favorite game, King of Meat! <laughs> we joined recently kidnapped celebrity guest contender <laughs> Jeff Keighley <laughs> at the starting line. Wait, what is starting this? line? October is going to be a killer month for everyone's bank accounts. I feel in September, right? There's a lot of games coming out in September. Zelda. What is all this? Death traps, unapproved nicknames, and a giant horse trying to hoof me? An eloquent and marketing friendly description of the game. Not to mention September a is gonna kill me. <laughs> transition to the world premiere trailer for King of Meat. Ready for action? Ready for mayhem? Ready for gold and fame pouring from the sky? Challenges from the most twisted minds of the most ghoulish dungeon creators are transformed into monstrous reality. It's like a nightmare in dungeon form. Four player co op. Hmm. Fall guys with a level creator. <laughs> 
think so? What do y'all think? Looks could be fun. King of mate. Sign up for future play tests. Hmm. You're Still into it. it. Still got I love how they included Jeff Keighley Welcome in Welcome back this. to Open Night Live for real this time. And that was the announcement of King of Meat, an online co-op spectacle for one to four players from Glowmade in Guilford, England, and Amazon Games for console and PC. And you can sign up at kingofmeat.com for future play tests. Now, one of the things I absolutely love about making these shows is that we get to introduce you to brand new games and teams like this one. To reveal their first game from their new studio, FuzzyBot, please welcome Fuzzy. Tat Tatania Dislova and Max Spielberg. Tatania is her name, I love that. Hi, Boiler. Oli, Oli. Max. Guys, welcome to o &L. I'm very excited to share this game with the world. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your studio, first of all? Yeah, well, first off, it's totally surreal to be here right now. Uh, we started the studio back in 2020, and the majority of us had um, come from the AAA side of the industry, and at the time we were just thrilled to have our own game, our own IP, and we could never expect being on the stage tonight at the, end of, uh, at the end of that run. The vision for our studio started with the idea of dreaming big and building <coughs> smart. The concept for our first game, even early on, felt very unique and full of heart, and this helped us bring together a very passionate team of talented developers. It's through their skill, dedication, and true love for the game that we're able to be here tonight, going way beyond where we thought we'd be. Well, this I got to so play this cute. a few months ago with you guys. I had a ton I of fun. I love when Tell developers get it, game, their time to Linked. shine. Yeah, so our debut game is called Linked Banner of the Spark. It's a co-op action oh, hack and slash with a bit of roguelite and town building elements. And so we blended these ideas together to create this cozy yet highly kinetic action game for cozy? players to brawl, build, and befriend a crew of adorable robots. Okay. In it, it's the year 3000, and you're going to take on the role as one of the last remaining humans. I heard cozy. Hi, puppet. Allying with a friendly bot faction, you're going to aim to take down the combat army hell-bent on organic destruction. Players can play alone or with friends in this vibrant world of robots. Hmm. Or a simpler How way is that, that cozy? I like to describe we'll, we'll it sometimes <laughs> is you go out and fight the evil robots and then collect their body parts to build a sustainable town of your dreams oh. while saving the cute ones. Ah, that's we how it's cozy. incredibly proud to finally <laughs> reveal the delightful world of Linked Banner of the Spark. And we hope the players get as much joy out of playing it as we have building it. <laughs> well, we're very excited to show it for, to the world for the first time. Let's take a look at the world premiere reveal I trailer. I love it, though. Thanks, I mean, anything can be cozy. <laughs> All right, so they said that you kill, kill baddies, take their parts, and then build your city with it. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to know what the city builder is like. City, city building. Very colorful. Combat looks um fun. Rebuild your home. Oh, there you go. Look at it. Oh my god, there's farming. Oh, look at the decorating. <laughs> That's the cozy element. <laughs> That look cute. So they said it's like roguelite. Roguelite, right? So I guess how you I'm interested. Oh, look at the, you can catch a fish, robot fish. I'm interested, I wanna see more. O early access, October 22nd. I'm intrigued. Well, I think we can all agree on this fact. Fishing looks fun. makes every video game better. Now, one of the <laughs> things that I love about Gamescom is that it is a safe place for our diverse gaming family. And there is an amazing platform called it's Gamescom Cares that False. shares social and environmental responsibility projects that we care deeply about. 
thanks to all of our partners who helped to make this happen. You can learn more by scanning the QR code below. And now, the first look at the gameplay of Lost Records, Bloom and Rage, a narrative adventure from the creative minds behind Life is Strange. Oh, interesting. Don't nod. Honestly, Swan, I'm glad, but slightly surprised that you showed up tonight. When I saw your text, all these memories came flooding back. Hey, she actually showed. Welcome! I remembered Nora, her energy. Shit! Where's my Is this video game gonna make me the cry? Her favorite. <laughs> I remembered you. Nice one, Autumn. You were the coolest. You're Skate excited for this wisdom. one? Never land on your wrist. <laughs> this game's gonna, gonna be so sad. Autumn. I remembered. Kat. I can tell from the Whoa, music. Watch out! She was like a firecracker. This is serious. We're gonna need a real band name. How about Bloom and Rage? Perfect. How could I forget? Oh, guys. Last week, my mom found a package on her doorstep. Wait, are Bloom and Rage? It was so wholesome, and then now... Are we in oh. trouble? Wait, what was the tape one and the tape two thing? Mysterious. You'll excuse me if today's sermon what, is what, I didn't... I couldn't... I couldn't read that fast enough. What time or what date did it say it was going to come out? Oh, boy. Oh. Part one and part two. February 18th and March 18th. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Life is strange to do the chapter thing. No more room in hell, too. Huh. That game looks great. It's a uh, new look at the eight-player co-op of No More Room in Hell 2 from Torn Banner up in uh, Canada, where there are deadly consequences of not sticking close to your teammates, and I cannot wait to check that one out. Yeah. All right, our next game, uh, it's been a long time nice coming segue. for this next one. At the Game Awards in 2021, Embark Studios revealed Arc Raiders, a game that immediately struck a chord with players around the globe a stunning future Earth where menacing Ark machines threaten humanity's attempts to rebuild. Well, Ark Raiders has evolved a lot since then, and now it's finally time for some news on what's next for this exciting action survival shooter. Where do we go from here? You've told us nothing of this place. Look at us now. Raiders. Playing with fire. I like this setup. Everything to lose. Even more to gain. Ooh, oh, okay. Playtesting starts this fall. Oh, okay. Huh. I don't remember that game either, but it it probably was one of those that were like <gasps> What is this? Cute! Oh, this is the uh, Nikki. <laughs> Wait, why this is so cute though? Infinity Nikki. <laughs> what is this? Ah, oh, look at him. <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did want 
to give this game a try. This is selling it for me even more though. <laughs> what is going on though? Wait, so cute. <laughs> Whoa. Love and peace. What even is the game again? Cats and chickens? And uh, Pokemon? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, closed beta. Clo you can sign up for closed beta. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Wow, this is so different compared to what we just watched. <laughs> they didn't, t you're right, they didn't tell us more about the game, but. Is this, uh, what is this? Is this Warhammer? Oh, it's an adventure platformer game? Okay. Oh, wait. Or. Warhammer, right? Yeah, Warhammer. Space Marine. Space Marine. Ooh, September 9th. Omida Studios. a lot of players. It reminds you of Smite 3. What song should we use? I don't know. Do some what dubstep right hip hop thing like everyone else. Loba <laughs> shooter built by an indie team from the ashes of Epic Games' Paragon. If you remember that one, it enters 1.0 free to play release tonight. Next oh, up, Path that's of Exile tonight. 2 from Grinding Gear Games. It is nearing release. -E. And tonight, yes, we do have news on the early access date. Check this out. Do y'all play PoE? My son, are you clear of mind and stout of heart? I am. Are you ready to sacrifice? Sacrifice everything to become the savior? Savior. I will. Do you have the strength? To sweep aside this world and build it anew. I, I too. must. I too got overwhelmed by the tree. I would if I didn't have to learn the skill tree. It's all fair. Now, are you ready to fulfill your destiny? Yes. I am oh, ready. Oh, 
November 15th early access. Soon. Well, that looks we can't absolutely wait for it. great. Can't wait for that one. And now, Gamescom is known for the cosplay. The vision and dedication cosplayers put into their craft is an inspiration to us all. And to see these amazing cosplayers, you can tune in to the Gamescom Cosplay Awards on Saturday, August 24th at 5 p.m. And if you're into indie games, who isn't, you can watch the best indies of Gamescom in our Gamescom Awesome Indie Show tomorrow at 8 p.m. on Twitch and YouTube. Enjoy exclusive announcements and interviews all packed into an exciting one-hour show hosted by Shay Thompson. Plus, the Gamescom Event Arena, that is where I am standing right now and all of you are. It is the biggest and most elaborate stage at Gamecom, fu Gamescom, featuring not only opening night live, but additional live shows featuring creators, gaming events, and esports competitions that you can watch either in person or by tuning in online. Now, up next is a first look at the gameplay of June Awakening, the open world survival MMO, and news on when it's going to be released. It's a survival MMO? There is another path for you. Awaken. Gameplay! You begin as a nameless prisoner. Sculpt your appearance, choose your background, and then crash into the planet. You are abandoned and alone. Oh. Oh. Hunted by sandworms. Scorched by the unforgiving sun. Ravaged by sunstroke. Stick to the shade. Chase the moving shadows. Survive. Welcome to Arrakis, the cool. most dangerous planet in the universe. <laughs> Alone in my MMO? Meet hundreds of other players <laughs> in the vast online world. Befriend or betray those you meet. Form a wary alliance, in this case, a spit dart rifle and a still suit, for your help taking down territorial deserters. Working with others will always increase your chance of staying alive. This is interesting. The deserter base. Climb to a vantage point and prepare for violence. Your choice of weapons and abilities determines your strategy. Swordmasters lead the charge into battle, literally. Repel ranged attacks with a shield and then take them out one by one. Deploy the Hunter Seeker and kill from the shadows. Ooh. Take what you can from the Fallen. On Arrakis, nothing of value is wasted. Mine, harvest, and gather with your group to build bases and unlock more advanced equipment, like the Blood Purifier. Refine the blood you collected from your enemies to extract drinkable water. Craft improved equipment using fabricators. Replicate your bases in new locations with the blueprint system, and then sell blueprints of your architectural wonders to other players. Oh, cool! Lead your group to become a guild. On Arrakis, a nameless prisoner can rise, construct an ornithopter, and take to the air. The world is yours to claim. What? This looks cool. I guess it's inspired by Destiny. Seems, seems that way. So the in-game radio provides insight into key events happening across Arrakis. Map the desert. Discover landmarks, wrecked ships, and desert testing stations filled with forgotten technology. Oh, shoot. Arrakis really is a fun. vast planet. You can explore unique locations, uncover valuable resources, and search for secrets amongst the shifting dunes. And then, return to civilization triumphant with what you found. Heart I of the am. village throngs with people. Spice traders, guild bankers, smugglers, 
house envoys, and of course, other players. Here, you will pledge allegiance to one of the great houses of Dune, the Harkonnen. But remember, to play politics, you need power. And on Arrakis, spice is power. In the deep desert, beyond the shield wall, hundreds of players scour the landscape, hunting for spice. Every spice blow has the potential to become a heated battle, with multiple what? guilds vying for the precious melange. Ooh. And even when it looks like defeat is inevitable, those who understand desert power can awaken Arrakis itself. <laughs> they make it look so intense. It's fun, the idea of guild versus guild. We're trying to get spice. That sounds so fun. My category didn't change. What do you mean? Here, I'll double there. I kind of like it. I I want to play. Well, uh, you can't have a June game without that sounds, the sandworms. It sounds the really fun. And summoning begins when June Awakening drops on PC early 2025. So the wait is okay. not that long. Early and now, 2025. here is a reveal of a new game from Tarsier Studios, the creators of Little Nightmares 1 and 2. Yay. So this is probably going to show the Little Nightmares 3, but apparently they also have a new game. Nothing lasts forever. <laughs> yeah, Little Nightmares 3. creepy i want to play it though Ooh, why is it chasing with on a bike what <laughs> is it two player or is it the we're dead oh wait no marina mall oh this isn't little nightmares 3 this is their new game okay okay marina mall Woo! That was Re Animal. The next big entry in the cozy game genre. Oh, cozy? Now, would you like to discover the <laughs> secret contents of Gamescom and receive cool rewards? Well, meet Re Epi, Animal. The robot on our website, that looked RPG good. Gamescom I thought they were going to show a little nightmares. Prove your nerd know how, solve tricky oh, well. puzzles, Maybe they win still prizes, will. gather trading cards, digital trading cards, and jump from level to level until the final boss. That's going to be a couple angry YouTube comments there. The oh, because I said the name begin. wrong, probably. Now, in its fourth year as an evolving open world adventure, today Genshin Impact is unveiled more about the sixth nation of Natlan, which will be released on August 28th. And we also have some Genshin news, news about when the game will be coming to Xbox. Oh, oh, Genshin's coming to Xbox? I thought it already was. Classic YouTube comment. It's okay. It'll be fine. Genshin Impact! That girl looks so out of place. Does she? Which one? The beginning one? The girl in the blue? Whoa, Genshin Monster Impact! Or Monster Impact! <laughs> Monster Hunter! Genshin Impact! Monster Impact! <laughs> Locked up. For the Lord of the Night. <laughs> I 
mal. Ah, November 20th. Cool. <laughs> they did kind of look like little Crocs. There you go, Genshin Impact, and also coming to Xbox later this year, as we saw. All right. Oh, that was the now November 20th to head coming into the Xbox. Wilds of oh. Monster Hunter, which is playable for fans for the first time here at Gamescom. Capcom has an incredible booth. Monster but now, Hunter. to tell us more and show us more, please welcome to the Gamescom ONL stage Ryozo Tujimoto from Capcom. Ryozo san. Yeah, show us more, Ryozo san. That was a good segue. <laughs> Hi. Hello to all of my friends in Germany and to the millions watching around the globe. I'm really thankful that Jeff has invited me to the opening night live stage so I can share a new Monster Hunter Wilds trailer with everyone. え、今日のですね、あの、今回ですね、えっと、ゲームズコンでは、え、初のプレイヤブル出展も行っています。え、今後ですね、世界のえ、いろんな様々な地域で、え、このようなプレイヤブルの出展も、え、考えていますので、そ
true queens. Want a little oh. taste of Shiranui fire? Ah. Finding me. Queens fighting other queens. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh goodness! <laughs> Fatal Fury, City of the Wolves. Oh, okay. Oh, the day before my birthday. Perfect birthday gift, guys. April twenty fourth, twenty twenty five. I'm kidding. I don't play fighting games. Interesting. <laughs> Holy smoke. Ready to strike. God damn. <laughs> Well, that was the mecha break. Okay. That was Makes a new sense. look at mecha break, the multiplayer mech game. Okay, next we have we'll something exciting for fans of Monument Valley, the beautiful twisted puzzle game that we all played about a decade ago when it was first released in 2014. Well, tonight we are revealing Monument Valley 3 coming later this year from Us 2 in London and Netflix games. I played this, it is an absolutely beautiful, stunning game. And we've got your first look right now. First look, 2014. I don't think I played this. Whoa, trippy. Oh, cool. I play this. It's a mobile game? Oh. Ever since we first reached for the stars. It is exciting. <laughs> We've been asking ourselves. What else is out there? And more importantly, can we drive on it? Rev eight. I like this song. You tried it in Age of Empire series, just wasn't for me. Well, Civ and Civ Seven and Age of Empire seems like it's too completely. Starfield. Okay. Sorry, I didn't make the connection to Starfield. <laughs> Free update for a car on September 30th. I like There's the song, two minutes though. of Starfield what is that song? For you and a confirmation of the expansion Shattered Space that is coming out on Shattered September 30th. 
Now it's time for an exclusive update on Marvel Rivals, the upcoming Marvel hero Rivals. shooter from NetEase Games and Marvel Games. Tonight at ONL, we'll be two like new heroes commercial. who are joining the game <laughs> with a first look at their gameplay. Oh, shoot. Well, it's just my, my I can't pause my alerts, but they, thanks, Bird. Thanks for the 95 months. I, I needed to have paused them, but I didn't think to do it. <laughs> Hold on. The source of vibranium, the foundation. How you doing, Tapers? Snap out of it, Bucky. No. <laughs> Not so fast. Oh, your battle's over. Stick around. Armed and dangerous. My ears. Wait, did it get loud or something? Together to victory. What do y'all think of this game? I've actually seen several people play it. I mean, I'm the type of person. Oh, the alert was loud. Oh. I can do this. Sorry. Um, I uh, I like watching Overwatch. I liked watching Overwatch. That's probably why I like watching this. But I only like watching it. I'm not a very uh, I'm not the type of person to play these type of games. There we go. Well, I'm sure everyone who played the beta wanted to know Marvel Rivals will launch on December 6, 2024. December now, 6. Gamescom always strives to help the environment, and the event runs on 100% renewable energy and is climate friendly thanks to ongoing measures to reduce CO2 emissions. Exhibitors participate in the Gamescom Goes Green initiative by reusing their booth builds or avoiding single use material. And yes, fans are planting more and more trees in the Gamescom forest. The forest has been growing since 2020, thanks to all of your engagement. There's a Gamescom and all of you forest? Can still help, of course. You That's can plant cute. your tree in the Gamescom forest today. <laughs> and with that, it is time to reveal the winner of the Gamescom Sustainability Award. This award celebrates an organization in the global I love game that they industry do this. committed to sustainability and the environment. Presenting the award, please welcome back Lisa Pak with Play for the Planet. How are you doing, Saber? Thank you again for the 95 month reset. Hi, Shocks, and hello, Gamescom. Thank you for having Playing me again. Playing for the planet. Well, it is our absolute pleasure, Lisa. And uh, in case some people don't know and need a quick refresher, Lisa represents Playing for the Planet, an alliance of gaming organizations committed to taking climate action under the official umbrella of the United Nations. So how are things, Lisa? Things are going great, thank you. With 3.3 billion people around the world playing video games, we encourage everyone to make a difference wherever possible. Absolutely, and 3.3 billion players is so, so much. So do you have any tips for our players on I'm supporting one of those. this great initiative? Yes, definitely. It's as easy as remembering to set up energy saving modes to avoid unnecessary energy consumption or switching to renewable energy um, electricity services at home to reduce your carbon footprint. Everything will make a difference. Absolutely, every bit helps. Those are great tips, and I already utilize some of those myself, and I hope a lot more people will. But now, let's celebrate some of the amazing work already done by gaming companies. Yes, that would be happy to do that. Anyone can set ambitious decarbonization targets, but delivering on that goal and turning it into emission reductions demands a clear and actionable plan, as well as collaboration. And this year's winner has proven that it's possible to deliver, to deliver ambition with execution across the board. And this year's winner of the Gamescom Sustainability Award is Tencent Games. And here to accept Tencent? the award is Brent Irvine, what? the Vice Chairman of Tencent Games. Interesting. Is 
ton of balancing uh, that needs to be done all, in Marvel Rivals. Let me Rivals. say on behalf of Tencent Games how honored we are to uh, receive this award. Uh, you know, Tencent Games uh, encompasses a lot of things, you know, everything from in-house studios like Timmy, global studios like Shark Mob, uh, to our global publishing arm, Level Infinite. What they all share is a commitment to operating our business in a sustainable way. We are committed to carbon neutrality by 2030 and really want to thank all of our studios, all of our partners, but most of all, all of our players whose support is essential to helping us drive our uh, uh, efforts to uh, uh, our efforts to have positive change within the industry. Thanks again, and back to the games. Congratulations, Tencent and Brent Irvin. That's nice. That looked awesome. Oh, I wish I could watch that with you guys. Twitch got rid of that feature where we could watch on Amazon Prime with tw with chat. Which is so unfortunate. Ugh. That looked good. Hey, look, no Age of Empires. What power you wield? Discord watch parties. We could. You unleash. We trust you will find a way. How many episodes did they say it was? Legend. We got Civ Seven and Age of Empire in one city. Fifteen? Oh, excuse me. Age of Mythology. Not Age of Empires. Ooh, September 4th, 2024. September 4th. Day one with Game Pass. Power born. The tower is the only sanctuary we have left. Together, we can give our people the hope we need to survive. You're right, Zubin. When does the new Amazon or new the game one? I don't know. When did it say it was coming out again? Sorry, I'm blurring all these dates together. 15 episodes of great animation. Oh, December 10th, right, December 10th. How cool. The conflict between the Alsara Guard and we Havoc to have made threatens coffee. the balance of the world. The Alsara Guard is a tempest of disorder, sowing chaos wherever it roams. But we are home to strike at their very core. It'll take too much time for me to get up and go and do all that. I can't really pause something that's live, so it's okay. Havoc is Twitch sub still required? It's never been required to be a Twitch sub in United, my Discord. Or maybe in the past the it used to be, but it hasn't been for several years now. To find the spark of peace. We are GTI. No one gets left behind. No one gets left behind. Delta Force. Delta Force. You know you want to, we'll fill you in. But what if I miss something like super, super good? We are announcing is coming to Steam Next Fest in October in advance of its early access release later this year. All right, let's head I back to the Middle Ages for a new look when Call of Duty Kingdom was Come Deliverance 2. Oh, with see, I'm really looking forward to this. A 15th century Bohemia <laughs> as an action <laughs> But I did watch a lot game. already. I, have I saw a lot of a content for Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. And if anyone should disrupt my plans with headstrong acts of violence. There will be consequences. <laughs> I intend to wage war, not parley. Not parley. Right. Parley. Hey. We need more people. Oh, that was a remake of Delta Force? It's a very old game. Well, if they're not already swinging on the gallows somewhere. Oh, yeah, Storm. It 
Yeah, <laughs> that's just kind of the how Kingdom Come Deliverance was. That's how I saw it too. I was always kind of confused. But that that kind of gave it its own charm, though. Yeah, this is Kingdom Come too. Kingdom Come Deliverance. Yeah, too. Kingdom come, not hearts! <laughs> this is not Disney. <laughs> Do you think we'll see Kingdom Hearts info today? Nah, right? I like that boy already. They already showed Borderlands, which was awesome, was awesome news. There is much more from that game no coming this week during Gamescom. Now, last month, the ARPG Zenless Zone Zero was released from Hoyoverse, Z -Z -Z. and now we've got the debut of a brand new area of New Eridu. Check it out. New Eridu. Any new Devil May Cry? No, no news on Devil May Cry. This is uh, zone, zen, zone Zero. Yeah, the ZZZ. I'm not kidding about that song that was used during the car commercial for Starfield. I really liked it. Can I find that song somewhere? I think Devil May Cry is a while away since the team just did Dragon's Dogma 2. Ooh, that's some fancy lipstick. Welcome to New Eridu. Came had tan skin and wielded two swords, one black and one white. Wow, he slashed so directly powerful. at the general's head. Almost equal to General Fei Shao. General Fei Shao? I know her well. You do? I know all her deeds on the battlefield by heart, such as when General Fei Shao fought her way in and out of enemy ranks seven times. With a single strike, she knocked down a hundred enemies. A thousand. No, ten thousand. Huh? You're exaggerating. My mom told me that about this. This is what my this online friends found at the scene. The sword in her hand was Look! Broken. In the form of a beast rushing forward like lightning, General Fei Shao shouted among the ruins! Are you my master? That's complete nonsense. Nonsense? I have even more impressive stories. <laughs> Little girl. Do you know how to get to the seat of divine force and... What is going on? I don't know. So they showed ZZZ and then now this is Honkai Star Rail. I don't play Genshin, Honkai, or Star... Oh. Fates Day... Fates Day Night? What? Okay. There's a fun little tease, and that was a new look at the space fantasy of Honkai Star Rail and Fei Xiao, a female general known for her prowess in martial arts. Okay, now we're heading to the Arkhamverse for Batman Arkham okay. Shadow. It arrives okay. later this year. <laughs> it is a completely new Arkham story exclusive to MetaQuest 3. It all looked like Genshin to me. <laughs> That's team. so bad to say. Camouflage I'm so has sorry. done an incredible job bringing the world and combat into VR, and here... Is your first look at the actual game. This is the VR thing y'all were talking Batman, about. Arkham Shadow. VR Batman. I wish I I wish I got into Genshin when it came out. Like I like more into it. I 
feel like I would this like it. Cult spreads through Gotham like a plague. I like the characters. They're so stylized and pretty. Even if it consumes me. The corrupt system has failed you. Are you not angry? Is this truth, Kylie. Fight I mean, back. it is made by the same company. It's the freaking bat. We aren't afraid of you. Oh boy. What if and this rat king could be what if anywhere. like your mom comes Face in you're playing a VR Foot game and you're going like mom. this and you accidentally punch your mom so how in the hell do we find don't do that for all city employees don't do that make sure you have Civil tons service. of space to play Public this game officials. you could have been more than a symbol yeah you could have <gasps> been a god like think of all the good you'll be trained at Punching going to die. and Alfred, throwing. We tried it your way. Now we do it mine. Something big's going down tonight. Something big's going down tonight. It's a big bomb. We repress our rage. Oh, cool. Our fears. It feeds the shadow deep inside us. Is that Pinocchio? What's wrong with Gotham? I'm done holding back. Ooh. You even fight bosses. That's interesting. I can bring the Rat King to you. Oh. Okay. October? He'll bring the Rat King. <clears throat> that can be arranged. Cool. Well, that trailer was buzzing, and the whole city is buzzing during this week of games. And this weekend, the heart of our beloved gaming metropolis, Cologne, will transform into the vibrant Gamescom City Festival. There will be great music on three stages in the city center of Cologne on both days with another 100,000 guests. Now, if you haven't been there this yet, looks you like should fun. definitely go and check it out. That is what's happening in Cologne, and also people from more than 100 countries are here. But Gamescom has fans all over the world, and I have good news. Gamescom is heading to other continents. The first what? Gamescom LATAM took place in June and exceeded all of our expectations with over 100,000 fans immersed in the gaming universe. Where, it was where a did they say? Show, and next year, it's going to be even bigger. Brazil? Cool. And Gamescom Asia returns what? this October. You can join in on the fun and the entertainment area to find out all about the game, Singapore, the shows, cosplay, and much, cool. much more. Cool. Oh, the can you imagine the cosplay open, in or Singapore? Or you can also tune in to our online show, Primetime, on October 17th. Cool. Now, Why who is ready Gamescom for another world Germany? premiere? World premiere? Announced last year at ONL, here is a new look last at year? Little Nightmares 3. A three, okay. Okay, I figured. I thought, I was like, I swear we're seeing Little Nightmares 3. The no animal, or re-animal. What was it called again? Re-animal? It looked like Little Nightmares. Cool. We'll play this and the other one. Reanimal. <laughs> Reanimal. <laughs> you making fun of how I pronounce it? It didn't have a dash after the re, okay? Darn it. So I didn't didn't connect to me. <laughs> I guess not everything has half dash, but still. Just getting it before the YouTube comments. Stop it! YouTube's not actually as bad as y'all think. YouTube's actually really friendly. At least lately, they've been really, really nice. <laughs> oh, I love it when I'm getting chased. Ah, friend. Little Nightmares 3. Wish list now. Oh, it doesn't say when? Okay. Looks fun! Oh, look! Far Changing Tides. The creator of Far Changing Tides. Oh! <gasps> publisher of... Oh, oh, it publisher of Firewatch. Don't do that to me. Stop it. But still. 
far changing tides was fun. What is that thing? Is that a bird? Oh, it's a bull looking. Okay. Is it a bird? <laughs> Nice, another sad game. <laughs> Interesting. So you're kind of like a shepherd. Taking him up the mountain. Oh, Haroldling. Yeah. That doesn't look sad. Maybe it will be. I don't know. Maybe it eats one of your... flock. I don't know. The, okay. All right. Okay. Guys like that one? That's a Herald beautiful Link. game. Herdling from Panic and Herdling. Locomotive. And I'm so Herald glad to share that with you tonight. Herdling? Right, Gamescom, we have a special guest Dang joining it. us next. I grew up I'm too, his games too and and right now. Two. Titles like Stop Populous, it. Dungeon Keeper, Magic Carpet, Theme Park, Black and White, and Fable. <laughs> And tonight he's here. You know to what? I'm, brand new game, I'm here to make you feel better that you can pronounce other years. things. Okay, Please that you can pronounce things correctly. Welcoming to ONL, Peter Molyneux. Peter Molyneux, Masters of Albion. I'm dying. Shut up. <laughs> wow. He's back. <laughs> What an incredible honor it is to be here on the stage with Jeff. Yes, he's amazing. It's, he's alive. This is so fun. What do you so mean by that? Months ago, you and I had lunch in London. The best was, liar in like, gaming. Well, I've actually been working on a game for a number of years. You've kept very quiet about it. Yep. You really wanted to like the game speak for itself. But tell us about Masters of Albion. Right. So after messing around on mobile, what the hell was I doing? I thought to myself, I need to come home. I need to come home to PC on console. So I've looked at Dungeon <laughs> Keeper. I've taken some things that I've wanted to explore further with Dungeon Keeper. I've done the same with Black and White. I've taken the things from Black and White. I've done the same with Fable. And this is what I'm showing tonight. Well, and to your credit, you've self-funded this project yourself. Yeah. You put together a team of a lot of veterans yeah. from those games. Yeah, I mean, I, I think my first realization is I needed to bring the old team back together again. So I'm working with people like Mark Healy and Russell Shaw and Ian Wright, the people that helped on and created Black and White Dungeon Keeper and Fable. Cool. Anyway, let's have a look at Masters of Albion. All right, here's the world premiere, Masters of Albion from Peter Molyneux. What? Cool. Slime him. What? This is Masters of Albion. We're a team of 20 people dedicated to making something new, unique, and different. 20. Here we are in the familiar, vast world of Albion, packed with stories, quests, treasures, Chicken. and monsters. This is Oak Ridge. By day, you're tasked with building the town up, gaining resources, and earning money. Yes, by night, love it. Your town will be attacked by many of Albion's creatures. Crap. You can design Whoa. anything. The food that people eat, the clothes they wear, the weapons they use, oh. the armor they fight with. Cool! There is a strategy behind every creation. I can even feed them Is that a rat? Plants. Ew! My town's working hard to make that food. I can help out. Oh, cool. Or not. <gasps> oh! I can also design, customize, and create all buildings. What? Cool. Wait, this is cool. I like this. It's oddly creepy. I think it's because of the Night floating is hand. The sun is going down. And, and that you can pick up and drop people. Against the horrors of Albion. And this is my hero's time to shine. Oh, okay. You don't have to play in God mode. At any point, you can possess a character and play in third person. Yes. This is like, my what, Manor Lords? now under my complete control. And now it's time to fight. Cool. 
Cool. I need Discord assistance. My hero's you do? What do you need help with? Let's switch back to God mode and unleash some real power. What? You can be a god? Whoa, fire! What? Okay, we survived the night. Now, let's design a better weapon for my hero. You can be as silly as you want, but bread swords just won't cut it. <laughs> what? This is just a glimpse of Masters of Albion. An open world. I love it. Full of combat choices. Hundred percent sold. Wishlisting on Steam. It's available to wishlist on Steam now. Yeah. Could be fun in short bursts. I've Never mind. The fold. Okay. In the fold. Who is Come that actress? Who I was. Who I might become. Possible futures existing in motion. Yennefer. Yeah, it's Yennefer from The Witcher. Well, I was going to say, I was like, what? It it's is Yennefer. Done. Well, I don't remember her actual name, but... Is my duty, my journey, to step into the unknown. This was shown somewhere else. Unknown Nine Awakening, October something. It's coming out in October. Arena Breakout Infinite. I never know actor, actor and actresses' names. Oh, is it October 18th? Is this call a booty? arena breakout but I only know that because it says it right here and it's behind my webcam <laughs> at least on Twitch oh there you go see infinite full release coming into the year wow arena breakout infinite sorry it's not my type of game but early access with the full release coming at the end of the year now over the years Blizzard has been a big part of Gamescom history and this week, we are thrilled to welcome them back for the first time since 2019. And to tell us more, here's the president of Blizzard, Johanna Ferris. I know they were going to show Diablo stuff. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Gamescom. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Are they going to talk about Blizzard? Wow, the, this is, this is the such new expansion a massive coming out moment, but it's such a special soon. time to be sharing it here with everyone at Gamescom, and we're just really honored and grateful to be here. Well, we're very glad to have you guys back, and I know you got a, a big booth with Xbox, right? We do, yes, and come on by if you're here all week long. We're proud of it, um, but it's also a particularly big moment for Warcraft. We have celebrations and anniversaries galore across Hearthstone, across Rumble, and of course, a very big milestone for World of Warcraft this year. Yes, speaking of World of Warcraft, The War Within, its global launch is, uh, is coming up very soon this month, right? Yes, it is, and we're just days away from the global launch of The War Within. 
Um, August 26th, it's go time for that. And in two days, we'll actually open up early access for players. So we're psyched about it. Come, out, come on in and join. And I just want to say it's masterful work from the team. The World Soul Saga opens up such ambitious creative territory for us, arguably some of the most ambitious we've ever seen since WoW initially released 20 years ago. And we can't wait to embark on it and share it with players. Yeah, it's uh, very exciting that this month is time for that. But uh, I know this is, you said, there's so many Warcraft anniversaries, Blizzard anniversaries, Warcraft anniversaries. Bye, Solar. How See can you later. players be a part of this? Yeah, there's a ton of ways we're going to be able to celebrate. So we definitely hope that you join us. There will be in-game events that commence in October. So there will be more details on that. But players will be able to earn really cool in-game rewards. And we'll be finding some creative ways to celebrate the history of Azeroth together. Um, and also be on the lookout for our very first Warcraft Direct, where the team will share more in the coming months on all the things going on for the Warcraft universe. Okay, well that's exciting. Um, now I was wondering about, you know, all the other Blizzard teams, are they going to get in and, and celebrate these anniversaries too? They are. There will be some nice surprises along the way, but I do want to shout out tonight the Overwatch 2 team. Okay. Um, they've been doing some amazing work to show their honoring of World of Warcraft and the legacy that it brings. There will be a new collab in September. We wanted to share tonight with all of you a sneak peek of the very first new skin. It's Widowmaker, and she's embracing oh. her allegiance for the Horde as Sylvanas Windrunner. So be on the lookout <laughs> for more details from the Overwatch team on that. That's kind of cool. Okay, thanks for bringing a little scoop along. This I along hope they're good you. expansions. Uh, now let's move to another franchise that is, like is, has a, a big year, Diablo. Oh yes, all eyes on October 8th. <laughs> yes, um, we are super excited for the Vessel of Hatred and we're even more excited that here at Gamescom this week will be the chance to have the first ever live hands-on experience with our very new spirit Warden class it's beautiful it's awesome to play and it's definitely a key part of what makes the vessel of hatred so special for us all right well i understand you might have brought a little something special with you as well we have here's a look at our mercenary companions so take a look on behalf of the vessel of hatred can't stop looking at our shoes <laughs> I liked her outfit. It very cozy. Comfy. Desolation. Horror. This is the road we know in Sanctuary. However, some of us have taken a different path. Bound by secrecy, ready to stand and fight for those who seek us out. My shield is your protection. There was a time we fought the vilest of sanctuary. You fools get uglier and uglier. Until we were left with only our inner demons. But the return of hatred has pulled us back into the light. Your blood feeds my blade. And though we now wait, watching from the shadows, we cannot escape who we are. Why we fight. Please, no! Stay away! Or the fury that burns within us. Whoa. I'm with you! I will not let you down. Stay back! See it. Shoot it. Strength in numbers. <laughs> I am your guardian. I am your redemption. I am your vengeance. I am your rage. We are the pale hand, and we are the reason you need never fight alone. What about the outer deep Tito? Ooh, fire wing. Fire wings. That looks great. Thanks for the sneak peek. Of course, and it's my esteemed pleasure to introduce Brent Gibson, game director of Diablo 4, Vessel of Hatred. 
Hello, Gamescom. The team and I are so proud that Diablo 4 is the type of game that has something for all gamers. And in Vessel of Hatred, it's no exception. We are hard at work at adding new ways to play and new ways to grow in power. Like mercenaries, ordinary people with extraordinary skills that you can hire to fight alongside you in your battle against hell. We're also adding the Kurost Undercity, an all new multi-layered dungeon that gives you the control on the types of challenges you're gonna see, as well as the rewards you may get. And we also have the Dark Citadel, our brand new co-op <laughs> PvE dungeon that challenges everything you know about combat in Diablo through a gauntlet of multiplayer puzzles and mechanics. We're talking about all of it right here at Gamescom. And so stay tuned if you wanna see all the things that you're gonna see in Vessel of Hatred, launching October 8th. And I hope to see every single one of you on the floor all the way through the show. So thank you very much. See you on the floor. I wish I was there. Thanks, I wanna Brad. play. I wanna play those. All right, new now games. we're heading to the hardcore that, action role-playing world of the first Berserker Kazan, ones. set for 2025 release. Intense combat meets breathtaking 3D cell animation in a brutal world from Nexon. Coming to PC and console, let's witness the chaos Nexon? that awaits. Oh. Wasn't expecting to hear that. <laughs> the two wolves who defeated the beast. Wow, well then. Into the neck of Ooh. the aged lion. We're getting close to the end. Neil. For years, I faced unrelenting fury, made countless sacrifices, and the result of my devotion was betrayal. Of scars early 2025. Interesting. October 11th through 20th is the beta. The constraints of the past are history. Here, you rule the way. Oh my god, the pug! Wanted. <laughs> the kitty. Your choices will remake the world, and every turn becomes an opportunity to triumph. Day one with PC Game Pass. History untold. Ah, da, da. <laughs> I can't even do this. <laughs> you can't even run properly.
dark and darker. I was wondering, I was like, it looks like darker and darker, but it's for mobile? Dark and darker for mobile. <laughs> I should have just said what I was thinking. Dark and darker mobile is now available for dark and darker mobile. mobile. Now from NetEase Games, mm -hmm. this next trailer is a new life simulation game where players can travel among super powered worlds to craft their island and engage with friends. Let's take a look. Ooh, crafting island and have friends. Start a new life above the clouds. Floatopia. Okay. Oh, look how cute! Look at the characters! Look at the outfits! Look at the animals! <gasps> look at your bedroom! Oh! The heck? Change the weather. <gasps> Farming! Superpowers! Wow! Cola! Makes them grow! Wait, this looks cute! Oh. It's a loft meets Animal Crossing, yeah! Wait, that, they actually look really cute. I like how they're designed. Oh my god. Look at their eyes. They're so cute. Oh my god, a squirrel. I like that <laughs> they've had a good mixture of these cute, cozy, cute games and then hardcore hack and slash. <sighs> Flotopia. Coming 2025. It's gonna be on the Switch. All right, we got Her another game to show yawn. you, which will take you on an epic global Cute. adventure. Oh, Indiana epic. Jones oh, and yeah. the Great Circle. Check this Hi, out. Hi, I like it, though. I want to play it. What if I told I you there was a connection between ancient I cultures play this too. around the world? A Great Circle. Does it exist? Is it the key to some lost power? That's up to you to uncover. I'm Troy Baker, and I play Indy. It's humbling playing a character that so many people, myself included, look up to. As a kid, seeing Indiana Jones in the theater for the first time was a defining moment for me. And I never would have guessed that all these years later, I would be the one wearing the hat. But here I am. It's been a dream come true. A dream that I cannot wait for you to live for yourself. The beauty of a first-person game like this is that we all get to feel what it's like to become indie. You are the one who cracks the whip, who feels the weight of every punch and the thrill of finding every clue. Indy is such a unique character. Professor, an archaeologist, a brawler, an explorer, the quintessential all-around adventure. And this game has everything you'd expect from an Indiana Jones adventure. Mysterious artifacts, Cunning villains, ancient discoveries, hard-hitting action. It's a world of constant danger where you've got to think on your feet. Who is the alive. developer of this The Great game? Circle spans the entire globe, from snake-filled jungle temples to scorpion-riddled desert tombs. Stunning open Scorpions. areas to explore freely, full of secrets for you to discover. And you'll get more than just the classic whip and revolver. Indy's journal and his camera will immerse you in the mystery, providing extra info on all of your finds so you can appreciate all of the little historical details. Is it made accessory. by Crystal Dynamics? And those details are your key to solving the ancient puzzles that hold the secrets you're after. But ancient secrets don't come easy. It's best to have an exit strategy. Oh, Bethesda. This is an incredible right. new way to experience Indiana Jones, and I can't wait for you to play it. Hold on to your hat. Oh. No, the developer is Machine Games. That looks good, though. That looks what? Oh, look! Doesn't it. that look great? A yeah, world it does. of mystery to explore. Machine Games. But you're did probably Wolfenstein. wondering when the game comes out, right? Well. <gasps> oh. Soon, December. Oh, there it is. Wow, how many games in December? December nine. Wow, we got a there lot of games it. in Indiana December. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle is coming out. Oh, this I December definitely want to play Xbox, that. Xbox, Game Pass, and PC. 
Yeah. But there is one more thing that Machine Games and Bethesda wanted to share with you about Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. Oh, that it'll come to PS5. The game's coming to PlayStation 5 in spring of 2025. Huh. All right, before we wrap up O&L, we do have one final game announcement handle for you. It? Check this out. <gasps> final! 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 The water. This thing of ours. It's a brotherhood. Ooh. Treachery. It's the final, final. My ground. <laughs> Do not exist among us. Do you wish to commit yourself, your life, to this family? Mafia? The old country. Whoa, mafia! Dis oh, we're gonna see more in December. I'm Nick Baines, president of Hangar 13. What you just saw is the first early look at Mafia, the old country. A mafia? thrilling story set in 1900 Sicily during the origins of the Mafia. We're going back to the roots cool. of what fans love about the Mafia franchise, crafting a deep linear narrative with that classic mob movie feeling. Mafia's success is built on our players' passion for the franchise. And we're so proud to return to Mafia with the old country. We can't wait to show you all more. Thanks for watching. Nice. Wow, that was such a fun show to watch. They did good. That was a fun surprise, right? Yeah. All right, well, that is a wrap on opening night live from here in Cologne, Germany. And we hope to see you again this December, December 12th, when the Game Awards streams live everywhere for our 10th anniversary show. The Game show. Awards, it's be December a very 12th. Night as we give you a sense of where games are going in the next oh. decade. We don't want to say much now, but trust me, it's going to be a very special show. All right, well, thanks again to my co-host, Man, Shots. Jeff Keeley's been Didn't you do a great hosting job? so much. Thank you so much, Jeff. It was really great he to be here. I hope everyone had an amazing time. And can I say something in German, too? Do I don't want to show you up, but uh, vielen Dank, <laughs> ihr Lieben. Ich hoffe, ihr habt eine super, super Zeit und viel Spaß auf der Gamescom. Well done, German, as opposed to mine. <laughs> I'm learning. All right. Thanks so much, Shocks. Thanks to everyone. Enjoy Gamescom. Have a great night. That was good. Definitely not a lot of games that aren't my up my alley, but there were a lot that were. You tell them, girl.